main stage is the kind of application that you do not want to be fishing around for menus and this sort of thing. You need to learn the key commands. They're very, very easy, actually. The key command for preferences is apple comma. There it is. You might expect to be able to do apple comma and have that window go away, but it's not true. If you want any window to go away in main stage, it's apple w. So hold your left thumb on apple and hold it down. Do comma w comma w comma w comma w comma w comma. Apple comma opens it. Apple w closes it. In the preferences pane, we have how many is that? Let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, we have four panes. Display is quite simply this. If I open up a plugin, edit, set it, its default size, it behaves as expected. If I have it out here to this obese area, I open my plugin, it's monstrous, okay? What am I gonna do? Am I gonna go up here to the X? To close it, I am not. I'm going to just do Apple W to close that sucker. Apple comma to get my prefs back. Now, keep in mind that this plugin window works what? It only works for Logic Studio plugins. So any third-party plugs that you try to do that with, it won't work. Done. General. Under general, there's a tuning. This traveling in Eastern Europe and this Lithuanian piano a little bit flat. You just tune, it's that simple. How do you, do you go all the way back to 440 and you move it closely? No, you just hold down the option key and click and it goes to 440. Perfect. Metronome. There are times when you need to rein the drummer back and say, drummer, you're Russian, I swear, I'll bet you 10 bucks. No, I'm not, dude. And you, you, at that point, you want to pull out a handy little metronome to prove the guy wrong and put him under the table. How's it done? I see metronome, I see output, but where is it? In main stage, I can put a metronome on a screen control and control it from anything to anything, and it's very cool. We'll do that. Right now, you got to put this other guy under the table. You need a metronome. Right click, toolbar. Customize toolbar. Up it comes. You drag a metronome in, you say done. Okay, then you touch it. You're like, I told you, dude, it's 120. Okay, and Apple Comic gets my press back. And say that you want to keep this guy really on a short leash, and so you're going to send him a headphone mix out of your interface with just this metronome blazing his head off. Here's how it's done. Ding. And you take cables out of outputs three and four of your interface you take it directly over to a headphone mixer and you slap the headphones on them and you're done here's the volume all right that's cool turn this off with clicking right click it customize toolbar poof you're done one last thing startup now these startup actions are so self-evident you can read and you can figure that out on the alerts, here's an alert. I'm gonna reach over, I'm playing my MIDI keyboard, I'm gonna unplug it. Now, typically you'd get a warning there. Okay, but the fact is, is that I checked, do not show me this again, but if I check reset a warning, plug my MIDI keyboard back in, my MIDI keyboard, and I unplug it, ding, then I get the warnings again. All right, parameter values. The fact of the matter is that if I'm out here and I'm just going wild and the girls are throwing underwear on the stage and I'm clawing at my shirt and going crazy and I, and I get this patch all jacked to the wall, right? Because it just got carried away. And what happens when I change the patch? This is what we're talking about, is that I can say, do you want this patch to save? to what it, the original was if you change out? Or do you want to keep the belt grabbing, shirt pulling, underwear throwing patch? Got it? All right. This other is not as simple. Respond to hardware moves. Don't worry about this. This is a general way to have main stage behave concerning these knobs. 
And as you refine your set, you can get in here on a patch by patch basis and tell MainStage what to do with the knobs versus the screen controls from patch to patch. Next, we're gonna go over audio and MIDI, and we're gonna learn how not to suck in terms of understanding those two critical elements. Good.